Welcome back everybody and howdy. This is my pathetic attempt at becoming a cowboy for the day. Just no effort put forth on this channel. But today we have one that I would consider to be an old cowboy style lead slinger, the Rossi Ranch Hand 44 Magnum Mare's Leg. So you guys know I've become quite the lever gun connoisseur over these last few months. And this is one that I've had my eyes on for a while. So the first thing I want to say is I am a Henry man through and through. Those are my favorite lever guns. I've never tried a Rossi. Um, but the main reason I wanted this one is because it's got the stupidly gigantic lever, which you guessed it, allows you to do stuff like that much easier. So when I get a new gun, I like to give it a specific purpose. We have the T-Rex rifle, the Bigfoot rifle. I think this one, it could be our zombie slayer. Plus, uh, Woody Harrelson actually used something very similar to this in the zombie land, which if you don't know, is a documentary with real footage and it worked pretty well for him. I think the 44 Magnum is plenty powerful enough. And we're gonna find out, because there's a zombie on the premises, and I have a feeling he's gonna make an appearance today. And our testing subject for this video is gonna be a zombie head. So this is another product from Ballistic Dummy Lab. I've done a bunch of videos on their stuff. By the way, coupon code OneShot TV on their website. Now you can save a little bit of money on your order, but if you look at this thing up close, it is freaking sweet. It's like aged and withered, old flesh. Uh, softer bones, just as realistic as a zombie head could get. And I've never tried one of these before, so this ought to be good. All right, I have not shot this thing yet, and I'm excited to. The 44 Magnum is obviously pretty stout, but this thing has a little bit of weight to it, so we'll see what the recoil feels like. I put five rounds in her, and unfortunately, to use the sights on this thing, you have to put the stock a few inches from your mouth, so wish me luck. <laughs> Oh, it ejects up. <laughs> well, I've got hot brass somewhere in my shirt. There it is. <laughs> now I know what it feels like to be a woman. The recoil is not bad at all. Beautiful. <laughs> I actually like the way that it ejects those shells upward and very aggressive. Let's do five more. I think the tube actually holds eight, but 44 Magnum isn't cheap, so we're doing five at a time. That's such a beautiful sound. <laughs> One of my favorites. See if we can hit that little white target. Smoked it. God. This thing is sweet. The 44 Magnum is no slouch. You can hear it echoing through the woods and because of the extra weight, it obviously doesn't kick as bad as like a 44 Magnum revolver or something like that. There's a little bit of kick, but not bad at all. So those last ones were 180 grainers. Let's try some 240 grain. See if there's a difference. I'm going one-handed. <laughs> That's pretty intense. One-handed. <laughs> I still think two hands is the way to go, but you can shoot it one-handed. It's just a little tougher to hang on to. Well, hip firing isn't my specialty, but we're gonna see if we can hit a couple targets shooting from the hip. Smoked it. <laughs> that is awesome. One more. This might be one of my new favorite guns. <laughs> this thing is a blast. I don't know about you, but I could do this all day long. <laughs> So fun. And by the way, almost every time you see me flip a lever gun like that, there's nothing in it. I don't want people to go flipping lever guns at home with loaded magazine tubes. That's obviously not safe. And it's not like the movies. A lot of them won't even load properly if you flip it like that. So it's best to pretend you're Terminator or John Wayne with an empty gun and play it safe. Trust me. So one of the scariest spots to be in during a zombie apocalypse would be alone with a crowd of zombies coming after you. And let's be honest, something like an AR-15 would probably smoke this thing in the zombie apocalypse, but it doesn't look as cool. And that's obviously most important. So since this is gonna be our zombie slayer, I wanna see how fast we can crank through rounds if we had a crowd of zombies coming after us. And this is what we had. 
I think I've got four of them in here. Not great. <laughs> All right, before we take out our zombie head, one more test that I want to do is the two liter test. I've never done this with the 44 Magnum. I had all these two liters left over from the 500 Nitro video that we did a couple weeks ago, and I've got 16 of them front to back in a straight line across that entire table, and then eight or nine extras piled up around the back. The likelihood of this bullet going perfectly straight is slim to none, but we'll see if we can get it done. And for this one, we're using a 180 grain 44 Magnum hollow point. Nothing special, but plenty powerful that's for sure so i'm going to try to put it towards the top half of that first two liter and we'll see what it does it looks like it curved out pretty quickly <laughs> or we have a bullet which i doubt All right, I might've put that one too high and it looks like it's going a little bit to the right. So we're gonna try it again. See if I can hit him. Getting shrapnel all the way back here. That was definitely a direct hit. And just as I suspected, it curved and exited out somewhere because several of these are still intact. So it didn't really tell us much. I think a 44 Magnum, if it was going perfectly straight, would blow through every single one of those. But I guess it was worth a shot and it definitely looked cool. So there's that. <laughs> all right, guys, time for the moment of truth. What we're all here to see is the Zombie Slayer. Really a good choice for the zombie apocalypse. I've never shot one of these zombie heads, so I'm excited to see how it goes. For this one, we are gonna use the 240 grain Hornady XTP 44 Magnum. This is probably the most powerful 44 Magnum that I have, so should be pretty impressive. And we're gonna go point blank one-handed to look as cool as possible, just like I would if a real zombie was after me. This one's gonna kick a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that'll get him. <laughs> So as you all probably know, zombies typically require headshots because they're already dead inside and you know, body shots just don't work as well. At least that's what all the documentaries show like Zombieland, Walking Dead, all the true stories that I've seen. Um, headshots definitely work best, which is why this test was so important. And that was dramatic, <laughs> a little more dramatic than I was expecting, honestly. So here's our head and you can see it literally peeled his scalp back and completely severed that thing and zombies do have green blood i was curious if it turned green when it rotted and it looks like it does and there's a big old piece of skull and then way over here we've got the brain that flew about 10 feet away from the actual head and split right down the middle by that 44 magnum so i think it's safe to say our zombie slayer might not be the best for rapid fire shots or maximum capacity, but if you're up close on a zombie, it will do the job 100%. So I'll go ahead and show you guys close up what the rest of this thing looks like. Obviously we hit him where it counts. We were one foot away, um, but the lower half is pretty much untouched. The jaw and teeth and all that stuff still intact, but the top half is completely gone. And how cool is that green blood? <laughs> 
I love this stuff. All right, guys, well, that's all I got for you today. The Rossi Ranch Hand 44 Magnum is definitely the zombie slayer from now on. As we saw, this thing will do the job quite easily, and that's pretty much what I expected. Fortunately, this is my gun. I bought this, so we're gonna do a bunch more videos on this thing in the near future. Like I said, I have a holster on the way from Optics Planet, and we've also linked up with Optics Planet, which is something I'm excited about. I'll tell you more about that. Uh, here in the near future but yeah awesome gun honestly even more fun than i thought it would be it's just such a little tank and one of the guns i've wanted for a really long time so if the zombies come i know what i'm grabbing it let me know in the comments what you would grab if you like this video please let me know down below as well as always hit that like button for me guys i'd really appreciate it thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time